here at Art Basel in Miami Beach, and I am speaking with art advisor Terry Kahan from Terry Kahan Fine Arts. Tell us what's so special about the fair this year, Terry. Well, Art Basel Miami is really the mother of all art fairs. There are over 269 galleries showing that hail from all over the world, everywhere from Latin America, North America, Asia, Africa. It's really the only fair where visitors have the opportunity to get a taste of the global art market all in one place. But what's also interesting about the fair is there's a little something for everybody. Uh, there's the opportunity to see works fresh out of the artist's studio. There's an opportunity to see historical works. And there's also the opportunity to see beautiful masterpieces like this Alex Katz behind me. So today I'm going to take you uh, on a little tour and tell you what I think is really interesting about the fair. So come with me. I love it. We're here at Art Basel Miami Beach at Edward Tyler Nahum Fine Art, and I'm here with Janice Cecil, the director of the gallery. Can you talk to us a little bit about why Keith Herring might be interesting for collectors today? Sure. So Keith, uh, this painting is from 1984, and as you can see, it's the motif is a smiling face, and he did a lot of work um, in, we, in a, kind of an 80s pop artist, is what we would call him. So this is a great 60-inch square painting. It has a beautiful, not only great pop, bright colors, which are very kind of 80s, you know, the hot fuchsia, the hot pink, the green, but also the all over, very inspired by abstract expressionism, the all over use of composition and paint throughout the canvas from corner to corner. So you see all of the drips which are there intentionally to magnify the fact that it's a painting and you really feel the medium of the paint on the canvas. So this painting is a particularly dynamic image, beautifully painted, very um, active surface, and it's just a great quintessential Keith Haring. Thank you so much, Janice, for taking a few moments. That's perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're here at Art Basel in Miami Beach at Gallery Le Long. Uh, Gallery Le Long is featuring a curated exhibit of Andy Goldsworthy in the cabinet section. Andy Goldsworthy is a well-known British artist who is a sculptor, a photographer, and also an environmentalist. Um, he's one of my favorites because he collaborates so much with nature in many of his works. And I'm here with uh, Lindsay Duckworth, who is the director of Gallery Le Long, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the artist and the show. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? Hi. Thanks for speaking with us. We. This is really special to have these early works of Andy's. Many people are familiar with his major outdoor public installations or um, the more recent ephemeral works that are often um, known in a series of books published by Abrams. But these early works uh, are, have rarely been seen. The one behind us has only been shown a couple of times, the same with everything here. So, and what we really wanted to show was that these gestures, these acts that Goldsworthy is making now, he's been making all along. These were instincts he had very early, and we really wanted to show um, that over the arc of 40 years, there are these acts that have stayed with him. And so it's a thrill to have them here. They're, they're very precious. Great. Well, thank you so much, sure. Lindsay, for taking a few moments with you. So we've had an amazing day. We've seen some amazing art and met some amazing people, but we've reached the end. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more art on WBTV.